Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error that is DXGI error device hung. A problem has occurred with your display driver. So if you are receiving this error with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So first of all, if there is any update, update the game and then check. Now, the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. By default, express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen. Now, put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now AMD card users can go to AMD website. First of all, uninstall the current graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then go to AMD website and then install the latest driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game. The next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file and then click on add. Once the game is added, scroll down and find the game in the list. Now, once you find the game, click on this down arrow and then select high performance over here and then launch the game and then check. Next step is two. Now for Nvidia users, uh, you can roll back your graphic card driver to version 566.36. This has worked. You can even try different version. So try to roll back graphic driver. So for this, uh, you can go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card. Make sure that you select right graphic card, the right operating system and then click on find and then on this page, uh, you can click on view more version and here you can see GeForce Game Ready Driver 566.36. You can click on view, download it and then install it. Download it, run the exe file, but make sure that you when, when you install it, put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to, now this is for AMD users, install optional driver that is 25.1.1 .1. so you can go to amd website in the google search you can just type in amd optional driver 25.1.1 .1 and then go to amd website now over here you can see new game support marvel spider-man 2 and scroll down over here you can see the driver so you can click on it and you can run this exe file and then install it restart your computer and then launch the game and then check next step is to now, if able to launch the launcher, you can disable DLSS re reconstruction. Now, for this, you can launch the game. Now, once the launcher is open, you can go to settings and then uh, you can go to graphics over here. Now, over here, you can see DLSS re reconstruction. Now, if this is on, you can turn this off and then check. Next step is to disable frame generation. Now, this has also worked for many players. So, you can go to display in the launcher and over here you can see frame generation now if this is on you can turn this off and then click on ok and then launch the game if that does not work turn off ray tracing now this has worked for many players so it might work for you so go to graphics over here and over here you can select off for ray tracing preset set it to off then click on ok and then launch the game and then check next step is to set ray tracing to high this has also worked for many players so you can just go to preset ray tracing over here and then you can set it to high once you set it to high now you can turn off this dlss ray reconstruction make sure this is off and you can frame turn off frame generation 
make sure frame generation is off over here and then over here you can select exclusive full screen and then you can click on ok and then launch the game and then check disable hdr in the launcher so you can again go to launcher settings and then hdr here you can see hdr if this is on you can turn this off and then check and if that does not work you can disable dlss so you can just disable the dlss over here uh, now if this is set to dlss you can just turn this off and then set this to ta and then click on ok and then launch the game now still not working in that case uh, if you're using dlss swapper then you can uh, just swap dlss to 310.1 so you can just launch dlss swapper if you're using this and then find the game in the list over here click on the game over here and then over here you can select 3 version 310.1 swap and select 310 over here also 310.1 over here also and then you can launch the game and then check this has also worked for many players so it might work for you next step is to rename or delete the save game files now when you rename or delete the save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can just go to documents over here and you will see marvel spider-man 2 if you want to create a backup you can just copy this uh, folder just copy and then paste it to the desktop once you have a backup now you can rename it you can rename it dot old and then launch the game and then check you can even uh, you can even uh, i already have the backup over here you can even delete this folder and then you can launch the game and then check but you have, the game will start from scratch now the next step is to try debug mode in nvidia control panel so you can launch nvidia control panel and then you can go to once the nvidia control panel is open you can go to the help option at the top and then you can select debug mode over here so put a check on debug mode and then launch the game and then check next step is to close overclocking application like if you have um, if you're using msi afterburner or river tuner uh, make sure that you you close it so if this is like if MSI Afterburner is running, you can close it. If you have Revert Unit running, close it. Or you can simply close all the overclocking application and then launch the game. Disable Steam Overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then turn off the option which says enable the Steam Overlay while in game. So if this is on, turn this off. Also, if you have Discord running, you can turn off the overlay in Discord. If you have GeForce Experience, turn off in-game overlay. Or simply you can close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. If you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security and then click on Windows security. Click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Now click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. Ready. Now go to the game installation folder. Select the game exe file and then click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel and then go to system and security Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change setting at the top and then click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open then click on add in my case the game is already added once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select manage browse local files go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file make a right click select properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok and then launch the game and then check if that does not work go to properties once again put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok and then check 
Also, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, then go to properties once again. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, the next step is to verify the game files. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So open Windows settings, go to Windows update or update and security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, restart your computer. Restart is a must. And after the system restart, launch the game. Just make sure that your Windows is up to date. In my case, it's version. Uh, you can type in W-I-N-V-E-R. And then over here, you can see version 2 for H2. So update your Windows to the latest version and then launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Download x86 and x64. So download both the file. Click on it. Run this exe file. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see install, click on install. Click on yes to allow. Download this x64 file as well. Again, run this exe file. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see install, click on install and let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, you can close this and then restart. You can be restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, launch the game. Now, the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. If you have any kind of USB adapter connected which you're not using, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any extra services or any application, third party application running, close it. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to set paging file to automatic. So for this, you can just type in uh, view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on it. And then click on the first settings option, go to advanced tab, click on change over here. Put a check on the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Put a check over here and then click on OK and then check. And then restart your computer. Still not working, then click on change once again. And this time uncheck this box and then put a check on the box which says system manage size and then click on set. Then click on OK, restart your computer and then check. Still not working, then increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case, it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So, and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one, 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 
two four. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte. Now that is three into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into three. That is four nine one five two. Four nine one five two. Four nine one five one five two. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart the computer after this. Now the next step is to uh, update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number and update the system BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure charger is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So if nothing is working, you can simply make a right click on the game, select manage, and click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.